Los Angeles Animal Services wants all city shelters to have a no-kill policy. So to some of my friends, I tell you the department is currently bidding several new sh building, several new shelters and improving existing ones. Joining forces with them is Wag My Tail Incorporated. This company now offers grooming services to city shelters so that they can get these stray animals ready for adoption. Give them kind of a makeover. Here's a look at our very first makeover at Wag My Tail Salon and Grooming School in Tahunga. Take a look. We do an evaluation with them first to determine exactly what they need because a lot of these animals may come in with diseases. We need to really take a close look at them, see if they have mites, if they, see if they have cuts on them, if they may be bleeding underneath all of those mats. Some of the things you discovered um, during the grooming process, especially when you're, when you're taking off a coat like this, is a dog can be dehydrated. You can tell by the way the skin doesn't kind of doesn't snap back right away, and that's a sign of dehydration. So a veterinarian will get, you know, put an IV and get them uh, hydrated, hydrated again. This dog is a little Lhasa Ops Mix male. It was found in Silmar, California, and it was found on the 12th of March. It's 14 years old. It is harder to adopt an older dog, but we do have a great new program called Seniors for Seniors, where a senior citizen 55 and over can come in and adopt a dog that's five years and over for free. The shelter, it didn't belong to anybody, it didn't have a collar, it didn't have any identification, and it's approximately 11 months old, and it's a little male. What we're gonna concentrate on here today is, is um, you can see, the ears here, we're going to clean the ears out. Some of these dogs will have ear infections or ear mites, and we want to make sure that there, if there is a problem, that we let the owners know or the potential owners know so that the, the vet can take care of them. Another thing we notice here on this little guy is his nails. Let's we'll see if we can get him to show us his little nails. And what we're going to do is we're going to shorten those nails a little bit so that they're not touching the ground. We'll do the anal gland check, and we'll, get, we'll put some nice conditioner and shampoo, and he'll be ready to go for adoption. Well, let's just say the adoption, is, this is suiting him very well. We have Glenda and uh, Yvonne, Vanessa. Vanessa Martinez here with Jax. This is the puppy, and you fell in love with Jax oh, yeah. from the beginning, I bet. I and I, I think he likes you, too. Congratulations. <laughs> We're so glad he found a home. Thank we you. have one last uh, little pet we want to introduce you to, a kitty cat, which we want to let you know is still looking for a home. Hi, what's your name? Catherine Segura. And what's the name of this kitty? It doesn't have a home. It doesn't have it, a home. It doesn't have a home, so it doesn't and have a And you like the microphone. Yes, she's very wow. sweet. Wow, apparently she wants to eat the microphone. Yes. She just purrs. She really Do is Do we know much about this kitty? Well, she's not afraid of dogs. That's good. She seems to love everybody. She's got huge paws. Yeah, Look she at has that. Huge paws. I think she has Maine Coon in her, see her ears. Oh, okay. Oh, she's a pretty cat. I love yeah. cats. They're, this is a real friendly one, too. Yeah. She's, oh, yeah. oh, she's awfully friendly. Yeah. We want to let you know that this cat is still available for adoption. If you're interested in finding out about that, we're going to direct you to that information now. Today's pet grooming was provided by Wag My Tail Incorporated. We want to say a big thank you to the Wag My Tail Incorporated uh, gang at the salon and school in Tohunga.